Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a look at how to start a remote support session with Zoho Assist. Uh, thankfully it's pretty easy. In fact, there are less steps for you than there are for the customer who doesn't uh, have the Z Connect software installed on their computer yet. So I recommend checking out my other video that shows you the customer side. That way you can guide them through that. Uh, on our end, we just hit start now and we'll be sent right over to the session to wait for them to join. Now there are other ways for the customer to connect. You can send them a link through email or copy and paste the link. Uh, we'll see that in the next page uh, and you send that through message. Um, I'm often working remotely on email problems so it doesn't make sense to email in those situations. Um, so let's just click start now. It's generating the session ID for the customer. And while this is going on, uh, at this point, I ask the customer to head over to join.zoho.com. Um, and I tell them you should be at a page that asks you to enter the session ID, uh, which we have here. I'll read that out to them. I'll ask them to please enter their name, click join session. While the customer is doing that, I usually explain that they'll be downloading a file that is the remote support software. They'll see two or three prompts asking for permissions, and they should click either yes or allow on all of those. Uh, so you can see here we have the plain session ID. So if they go to join.zoho.com, they'll be able to enter their ID in there, enter their name, click join session. Um, you can also just copy this, um, email it to them. Um, just copy paste that into email. You can invite by email directly, and it's going to prompt you to enter their email. Uh, or even send the uh, link to their phone. So it's pretty easy on the technician side. Um, so check out the customer side video uh, for for the full customer experience, so that you can you can guide them through that. All right, guys. Uh, hope that helps somebody out. Thanks.